is money crumble daily. That means when you start out, really, this is what it means. If you started making uh, $10 an hour at 8 o'clock this morning, by the end of your shift, you're down to 980. Do you understand this? And yeah, the math might be wrong. It might be 982 and some change or whatever. But you, the, the point is the same. You, you're actually making less by the end of your shift than you did when you started today. This is why it is so vitally important that you figure out how to take control of your financial income. This is why entrepreneurship is so vitally important. This is why sustained growth in business is so vitally important. See, the key behind why entrepreneurship is successful, it allows you to have tremendous growth. It allows you to get ahead of that inflationary curve. If, if inflation goes up 9 to 10 to 12 percent this year, which it has done ever since the 1800s, and your income went up 50, 60, 80 percent this year, then you became wealthier, didn't you? When you have growth in your business, like let's just take, for example, um, widgets, okay? You invest $10 to start a widget business. You make 20 widgets at $10. You now have $200. Well, your $10 turned into $200. Inflation's not going to go up to match, so you're ahead of the curve. The problem comes in in businesses when they were successful for a few years, and they're like, wow, whew, we were ahead of the curve, baby. We made it. We're making money now. And then they get complacent and think that they don't need to grow. Well, guess what? The beast of inflation is still on your tail. And unless your business is growing 10% every single year, you're going backwards. I don't care if you're a mom and pop on Main Street or you're Coca-Cola based in Atlanta and you're a huge company. If you're not experiencing 10% growth every single year, you actually went backwards. Well, no, Josh, we just grew slower. Call it whatever you want, but it, inflation's catching up to you. Because if if sales, let's say let's say you didn't grow ten percent, you grew five percent. So now you're down five percent from what you were, but inflation is up ten percent. You're going backwards, even though on paper it says growth, you actually went backwards. And that's the crux of economics. That's the crux of business that nobody is teaching, nobody wants to talk about, but it's reality. And reality is kicking us in the rear end right now, and we're experiencing it as one in three people are poverty, one in f or two in four people are almost poverty. And people are running around saying, why isn't this job model working? Why isn't the job model working? Because jobs work for your parents. Those long-term careers work for your grandparents. But inflation caught up to and gobbled those up. So unless your employer decides to pay you about $280 an hour for the next 50 years, you need to find something else to do.